doing a very tedious job of uh, looking for someone that threw something out of the window last night. This is a great reason for me to go live every freaking night. Having someone bang on my door, wake me up out of deep sleep, accuse me of throwing things out of my window. Of course, this was on the middle of my window, so I did hear glass crashing. At this point, I'm so upset that my building would actually tell other tenants that I'm throwing things out of the window. That, quite frankly, they're a big part of the problem down here. I gotta get off my ass and uh, find a lawyer. Well, it's not that I gotta get off my ass, I gotta get a little less depressed. So I'm just gonna put this on pause till I find it. Oh, they're having just a blast under the window while we're suffering inside. I can't believe I'm doing this. This is so crappy having to look at this and wait for one noise, crashing sound. See them? They're laughing. They're having a great time under my window. Of course, I didn't hear it because I was sleeping. Yeah, just having a blast under there, street poopers. So I have my microphones outside, so you'll hear the outside way better than the inside. I do that on purpose, because I don't want, you know, my TV to get me a strike when it's on for copyright claim. See, just having fun. Now, I wouldn't be able to hear that in my apartment. It's the mic picking it up. I close my window. The cord is thin enough. There's a little bit of space. So, and with my uh, fan going on my air conditioning, I don't hear that. be coming up soon. This is the second time I've heard I've been throwing things out of the window. And it's only water when they wake me up. And across the street, that's how they keep them out of the doorway. They spray them with water. Our building fails to do that for us. They fail to protect us to come in and out of the building. It's my neighbor. See, I, I wouldn't injure somebody. I'm not a blood person. I like the blood to stay in the body. But that's my neighbor. She's going nuts. Everybody's going nuts here. I use the water because it doesn't harm anybody. Their stuff dries out and I don't care about their stuff like they don't care about our sleep. But I would never throw things at them. And I'm really pissed off that those fuckers down there accused me. Next time maybe I'll get the fucking hose on them. 
and the cops can break down my door to get the hose off. I am so pissed off. Thank God I was doing this all night long, just about until they woke me up. I'm just gonna put this on pause for a second because my hand is shaking. Okay, so that is definitely my neighbor having a nervous breakdown. Just so we know where we are, we're at around 2.40, 2 hours 40 minutes. So more should happen. Thank God I listened to that little voice in my head that said when I was too tired to set up the recording that I just did it anyway. A little voice said, just do it anyway. Well, I'll be bitching at the end when I woke up. I'm still bitching. We're, we don't have any more strings to break. You can't live in a neighborhood like this and be psychologically balanced. And anyone thinks you could be is fucking crazy. Mayor Stewie wouldn't last a week down here on our budgets. Mayor Stewie was forced to stay here a month. I'd be finding him in the fucking tent on fucking drugs, you know, leaving. Mentally leaving the fucking neighborhood on hard drugs. Sorry, I'm interfering, but you can look at the original. I didn't even want to smoke today. But I'm so mad that I'm chain smoking. Because I got to take my ancient Egyptian black cumin seed oil and my taste buds are just rejecting it. It's not as bad as cod liver oil. I've done that before, but I burp it up and the cod liver oil is way worse than the, uh, but I don't do that anymore, cod liver oil. I can't handle it.
that was my neighbor. She's crying, she's very upset. But there's something wrong with her in the head. So I think she thinks that her daughter was down there and uh, they're making fun of her, but we never heard anything. They're not making fun of her. Yeah, they're just having fun down there. Maybe they are making fun of her and I can't hear, but I don't think so. They are laughing. That's a more laughing than they normally do. But honestly, I don't think they're making fun of her because they wouldn't have blamed me. They would have blamed her. Stupid drug addict rats. Criminals are rats. I can, it's not possible for me to be a rat. I can just phone 911 because I'm not a criminal. But when criminals tattle, they're fucking rats. You can only be a child or a criminal to be a tattletale rat. And these ones are down there. But if you're a normal citizen, non criminal, all you're doing is standing up for yourself, phoning 911. It's your right. Except for when you work, live down here, you don't get 911. Now, remember, this is all around 12 o'clock, I think. Because he woke me up at 12.30. Sounds like Daisy. Is that you, Daisy? <laughs> okay, Daisy, that's you, I know. Come here, come here, baby. Come here. My neighbor. Her voice sounds very similar to me. Okay, let's see where that was at, but that's my neighbor. Her voice doesn't sound like me unless she screams, so I can see why they would have got that. Uh, she's already admitted to it. And that's it. Then afterwards, I wake up after I hear banging at my door. So, the banging at my door will be shortly after that. I don't know if the microphone picks up the banging at the door, but it really pisses me off. Just like doing this pisses me off. The fact that my building, Oasis, could put me in more danger than I already am in this shit show that they failed to protect us. But now, they have staff spreading rumors out that I'm throwing things. Out my window? I heard this the other day, and I kind of shrugged it off.
said, I don't throw water. Now, you street poopers down there, fuck off. Get off our fucking block. Or burn down our building. 